So you want to customize your Visual Studio 2019 experience, do you? Well, you've come to the right place. Okay, so there are several ways of customization. Not really ways, but there are several levels of customization. First of all, let's take a look at package customization. So to do that, what we need to do is if you're using a uh, Windows or even a Mac, I guess, you need to search and open Visual Studio Installer. Okay, open this up. Let it open up. Now, before doing anything else, make sure that your Visual Studio 2019 is completely up to date. Click on modify. And now, as you can see, it's got a bunch of extensions that you can install depending on what you want to do. So maybe you want to uh, write Python code or Node.js or maybe Asia development, ASP.NET, a whole bunch of things. Development with C++. So it's got you covered pretty much whatever you want to do because as you can see it has support for Unity of course along with uh, Unreal as well. So that covers the two main game engines. Universal Windows Platform Development Support with C Sharp, VB or C++ .NET of course But apart from that It's even got data storage and processing For SQL servers or whatever Even data science and analytical applications You know, you can even create uh, Office and SharePoint add-ins using C-sharp, VB and JavaScript. You can create extensions for Visual Studio themselves using Visual Studio. So it's got a whole bunch of things. Comes in really handy. You can check out individual components, even language packs, install location, that's all right. But yeah, one thing to note over here is I would suggest don't install unnecessary extensions as they slow down your experience just get what whatever you want to get or get whatever it is that you're working on. Okay, and once you have selected what you want, go through the optional downloads, see if you want that and click on modify while having selected install while downloading. Okay, now let's move on to themes. I'm going to close up my Visual Studio installer get back to my Visual Studio 2019 and I'll open up a project of mine. So of course, this is only the code. It's part of my developer vlogs that I've started doing right here on my channel. You can check it out if you're interested in seeing how a game comes to life. Okay, once you're inside Visual Studio 2019, click on Tools options color theme you can see the themes which are currently installed light dark whatever this is where you, where you, you select the theme okay let's close that go back to go back to extensions and manage extensions let it load up properly cool now you want to search for theme and yes, there are a bunch of themes that you can install and download. So whichever one you like. One thing to keep in mind, once it finishes downloading, it's going to require a restart before it can be installed. So it's not a big deal. Just save your work and restart Visual Studio. And that should handle all of that. And once you have it installed, you can again go back to tools, options and select the color theme. This is about themes. Now let's go into the final step or the highest level of customization. Fonts and colors. 
before I go into fonts and colors, let me give you some context. Okay, so you can see a bunch of colors on my script currently. So uh, inbuilt keywords such as private and public and class and namespace and using they're all purple. Whereas strings are of cyan. Digits are yellowish, no, not yellowish, uh, orangish, I guess. It's a, it's a shade between orange and red. The class names are in yellow. And local variables are in green. Method names are in blue. Pretty cool. So what if I don't like the colors which are going on? I do like the theme, that's the background and the way everything works and looks, but I don't like the colors. I'm not very fond of them. So what should I do? Well, what you can do is head into tools and options. Once in options under this environment tab, Go to fonts and colors. You can of course choose your font. I like the pretty much default standard consolas font. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Now, I would really suggest you don't mess with things that you don't understand. Otherwise, it's, going, it's not going to work for you. But going back to what we want to change. Let's find user members. And this is what we want. So user members, constants. That means if I were to use a constant variable, its color would automatically be pink. Whereas enum numbers, uh, enum members are the default color. Now look at that, would you? If I click on locals, the color is lime. And you can see my local variables are lime. The same applies for parameters line this is where you can change it you've got a whole bunch of colors here and if you don't like the ones from this drop down menu you can click on custom and go crazy with it right classes as you can see they're yellow delegates are bluish extension methods are bluish Right? This is where you can change the colors or if you don't like a particular color inside this. Okay, I'm not gonna change any other color because I've got mine set up the exact way I want it. Now, it may also happen that sometimes uh, you want to change the look of the visual, of visual Studio. If you want to increase or decrease the font, instead of going to the tools and then options, what you can do is simply increase or decrease the percentage here. So right now it's on 115, but if I turn it up to 200, there we go. Let's get back to 115. Also the solutions explorer, sometimes you may close it by accident. If you want it back, you need to go to view and in view solution explorer you can also press ctrl alter l you can click and drag this around wherever you want i like mine to be exactly over there now one final thing before we close up the video you can see my icon or my logo right up here how to change that. So what you do is you click on it. It will show you your name and your email address. Then you click on account settings. Okay, and this window will open up and then you click on manage Visual Studio profile. That will open up in your browser. Let it load up. Here, you can click on edit profile and you can choose an image 
whichever image you want, whichever image you like. And you can save changes. Then when you reload your solution or you restart Visual Studio, your image will pop up over here. Okay, if you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved the video, hit the subs button and the bell icon right next to it so you're notified when I make new videos. Also, you can check out the rest of my channel if you enjoyed what you saw today. Thank you very much for watching once again. Have a good day or good night, wherever you are.